Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the 15th episode. Hi, Alim, how are you doing? This this music which you are playing now right in the beginning seems now become like a Friday morning alarm. <laughs> it just keeps playing on my mind every day on Friday morning. Absolutely. Good and morning, that's... everyone. And good morning, Ajit. And, you know, I completely agree with you. It's like, you know, every time these uh, nice Netflix episodes, you know, they have those signature tunes. They've also made our own signature tune like that. So yes, and that credit goes to you, Alim. You did that. You made that happen. Absolutely. Good, I hope we don't get sued someday. So we are working on <laughs> Sasta and Tikao budget for now. <laughs> Absolutely, guys. <laughs> All right, for guys, good morning. And we are at the 15th episode. My name is Ajit Panikar. I'm an asset member for 10 years and I lead Nova, an air conditioning company, and Pure Blue, a tech enabled startup in the air conditioning domain. And my co host, as usual, is Aleem. Alim. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and good morning again. And my name is Alim. I lead a company called Synapse. And what I want to be is somebody as suave and sophisticated as Ajit, but I don't have that kind of introduction. But yeah, good good to see you all, all over here today. Thank you, buddy. But for all of you guys who are joining us for the first time, Ascent is a not-for-profit expression of Harsh Mariwala, Chairman Marico Limited, and his passion to identify high-potential growth stage entrepreneurs and enable them to grow their enterprise and enrich their entrepreneurial journey. Launched in 2012, Ascent Today empowers more than 850 entrepreneurs across India. Ascent is designed as a unique, powerful, peer-to-peer -peer platform that leverages the power of the collective through self-facilitated groups called trust groups, which enables entrepreneurs to share and exchange experiences, ideas, insights, and create a healthy ecosystem to learn from each other, learn from each other. And today's event is a weekly event every Friday at 11 a.m. Ascent Talks showcases Ascent members and their interesting entrepreneurial journeys. So today, Aleem's going to introduce a very interesting guest from Amcha, Amchi, Mumbai, and a fascinating story of how he gets started and what he's built. So Aleem, let's bring in our guest. Absolutely. We've done 14 shows. This is our 15th show and there are a lot of interesting and inspirational stories that we've heard. But this one is some some story that really is going to be very interesting. So introducing Pratik Kumar. Pratik dons many hats. He's an investor. He's the co-founder of Jhark Jharkhand Angels. He's a successful entrepreneur of Neo Niche Group, a professional CEO, a pro prolific business writer, a motivational speaker. After spending more than two decades working with teams selling everything from fireworks to soaps to yellow pages and exhibition booths, Pratik chose to step out of his day job in 2011 to pursue his passion and that's when he founded Neonish which has created a name for itself in the industry. Neonish has won more than 25 awards in the prestigious rising star of India brand management company which is also the most admired experiential marketing company and an emerging company of the year. Welcome Pratik, very very good looking and very very handsome and very glamorous smile so here we are. <laughs> thank you so much Alim and thank you so much Ajit for having me on Ascent Talks. He, he kind of admired your beauty. What's wrong with you, Aleem? Give him a break, yaar. How do you yaar? This is a way to introduce you, yaar. You're trying to introduce your beauty. You're trying to introduce your beauty. But I loved it. Aleem, thank you so much. Go for it. Go for it. It's a free world. I swing only one way. I just want to let everyone know that. I'm glad. I'm glad you made it clear. Pratik, now let's get into the show and tell us about your business. Tell us about the nature of the business. Tell us about the scale. What is interesting about you or your business? What are the clients? What are the USP? Just give us a nice intro about what you do. Okay, so I am I am a co-founder of uh, a company called Jharkhand Angels, which supports the startups coming out of beat, uh, smaller towns and cities. It was in fact features in Shark Tank first uh, first episode. I am also a founder of. Uh, Neonish Group, which was founded in 2011. Uh, we work as an omni-channel partner to B2B enterprise and their different stakeholders and kind of build their entire marketing, uh, communication, marketing uh, experiences, uh, build experiences around their stakeholders. Uh, uh, that's that's what Neonish is all about. As a part of Neonish, I'm a part of Asset. Nice. That's amazing, Pratik. But uh, Pratik, tell me something, you know, your business is, let's be honest about it, you know, with the digital space and marketing, it, sometimes, you know, you feel it just tends to get a little overcrowded. 
is there space for so many people what are the kind of options that you see uh, around this whole space when it comes to your industry in terms of marketing and digital solutions so so human being great example is a human being right we have evolved through the ages and businesses mimic human beings right we evolve through the times uh, we are not using pager anymore we are not using even those monochromatic phones anymore uh, we are using smartphones and then now we are talking about ais and vrs and ars of the world right we are talking about chat gpts of the world similarly my business started as a corporate event company uh, we were all we were doing was creating experiences for our b2b corporate clients uh, and as a, as a, as a sunday or a weekend project we started something which was called as hive at that point of time it was like a virtual event platform we tried selling it for so many years no one was no one was even buying it uh, or we had only one buyer for, for almost 10 years who bought that service for princely sum of around 60000 rupees for their resellers that was the success of hive and then in 2020 pandemic came everything became virtual and suddenly the one product which was like a weekend test failed product suddenly became the hit over the last two years i think we we sold it so much eventually the virtual platforms are dying its own death but at some point of time you are doing something and you don't know when the time is ready right sometimes you are before time and you think the product has failed but product becomes the more relevant one at the same time uh, in digital space what is happening is there are spaces which are crowded in b2c market so if you talk about digital agencies they will say i will manage your seo i will manage your acm i will make apps for you i will make uh, dynamic websites for you uh, but actually digital space is still evolving it's still lot more and nobody actually is trying to do uh, any 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 solutions for b2b market for digital space uh, last few years last couple of years when we have reached out to uh, clients for digital marketing they were not that interested but today if you look at the b2b space they are all about community building they are all about managing loyalty online so b2b loyalty programs it's all about employer branding uh, it has it has it's still evolving and it will go lot more it will evolve lot more we are still at the nascent stage Just a quick question back and yeah sure. sorry go on no, 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 no. I prefer, I, I, he, he brought about something called as chat GPT. And I'm sure most of our viewers would have heard it. And uh, I, I want to pick up from what he just said on that chat GPT. Is that going to disrupt your business? I'm going to be very blunt about it. Or if it is not, which part of it is it going to disrupt? And if it is not going to disrupt at all, then what is it going to do to your business? Because that's what everyone is talking about. They think chat GPT is going to even disrupt Google. So what's your take on that? Yeah? You... So there are, there are two different mindset, right, Ajit? There is a mindset which says glass is, glass is half full and there is a mindset which says glass is half empty. I come from a space that glass is half full, which means that every technological innovation has only added value to, uh, to your duty. Chat GPT is a great tool if you utilize it. Chat GPT is not going to uh, address your customer's grievances. Chat GPT is not going to uh, interact with your customer in the last mile. But what chat GPT will do is it will create contents for you. It will create uh, content for a chat shows like this uh, in terms of when you want to take it to thousands of masses, right? And that's how I see chat GPT evolving. Awesome. Ali, we are a chat show. The yeah, first yeah. validation. We are a chat show, bhai. Yeah, we are a chat show. <laughs> so, I'm to there, bhai. Our weekend project bhi gaya. Jai Gani, aap agar aaj... If you are reaching out to a lakh people today, you would be reaching out to an entire globe tomorrow. I agree. Oh, you know, there's goodness. this very nice reel that was floating around by this influencer called Ayo Sharda. I'm sure you must have seen it. And yeah, she yeah, said yeah. that at the end of the day, it's going to be chat GPT and creativity. These two are going to come together and, you know, uh, this thing. so it's not it's not as much as threat. I think it's a knee-jerk reaction when people say it's going to take away my job. It's just going to enhance your job in many ways, I believe. Uh you know, Pratik, before we go to the you know the next question, I want to ask you actually, uh, I want to ask you your backstory. I know that you have a very, very interesting backstory. So tell us from how this entire thing evolved. How did you become an entrepreneur? What was your story behind that? Okay, so I, I come from Ranchi. And when I left Ranchi in year 1998 to do my hotel management in Mumbai at IHM, uh, the typical mindset in UP, Bihar, Jharkhand is you uh, do your, you do, after after 10th, you take up science, you become a doctor, you become an engineer, you become an IS officer. 
that's a typical mindset nobody talks about business nobody talks about entrepreneurship nobody talks about anything beyond this three lines of thought uh so i followed that beaten track i appeared for medical exam i got selected in all india pre medical exam uh i also appeared for hotel management without telling my parents and i got selected in here as well and i said i don't want to do uh, medicals because there is too much of studying that goes on there and i actually fought with my dad after a lot of convincing on the last day he admitted me to hotel management course and but hotel management i realized that there are three important ingredients when you are doing a course like that you need to have a personality thank you alim for talking about my beauty at great length but i knew my personality i was this lanky young boy who uh, not great communication coming from the hinterlands of india uh, no personality no contact so but what i liked was the day i entered hotel management i got a lot of opportunity of doing this college fest uh, your rose days your valentines day usse khun lag gaya then i kept on doing those kind of work i kept on doing and once i passed out i uh, joined taj group for a very short stint as a management trainee and then moved out and i actually started working with smaller agency startup agency where i got a chance to work as a intrapreneur तो किसी और के पैसे से उसकी कंपनी को ग्रो किया पहले समझा धंधे को और जब किसी और के पैसे से ग्रो करते हैं और आप बहुत कुछ आपका बैकग्राउंड नहीं है ना तो यू हैव नो मनी सो माय फर्स्ट सैलरी वाज प्रिंसली सम ऑफ 4500 रुपीस व्हिच मींस दैट इन मुंबई इट्स मुंबई इज एक्सपेंसिव सिटी सो आई हैड टू स्टे इन धारावी एंड धारावी वाज माय एमबीए द वायलेंस ऑफ धारावी टॉट मी लॉट अबाउट एवरीथिंग यू स्टार्टेड योर पिक्चर ऑफ this is the actual picture of where you started from right yeah 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 the pink 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 house on the first floor and that amazing. window that that used to be my house amazing so so uh, but it, it was fun time it was fun time the best ideas came at that time best thought process came at that time and in 2011 i actually got together with my partners and formed a new niche as as a corporate event company of that time and eventually it uh, so pratik involved... just a second just a second pratik sorry to interrupt so we have a lot yeah. of viewers outside mumbai mm-hmm. uh, to people who are outside mumbai and who know what this image means people from mumbai will realize taravi is the biggest slum in uh, in the in, in the country right. today. probably in the whole of asia right. as they as they keep saying it you know it's the biggest slum and that's what pratik is referring to as to where he started from right so go ahead pratik Okay, so this photograph is, I think, of my first office in the basement. So first office, we actually uh, had a, in a place called uh, Bepar Bhavan in P. Demel Road at the basement. Uh, so that was coming the cheapest. We had just one room where we would stack everything and start functioning. Uh, for six months, we didn't had any business. Our first business we got was in, uh, I think, after six months, uh, for a princely sum of five thousand five of uh, fifty five thousand rupees, where we made a profit of five thousand rupees. in fact my office history wall has that entire invoice and the check uh, so that's how we started the business i trust me i did every mistake on the on the playbook that you can do we didn't had a uh, uh, shareholders agreement we didn't even crafted what the business was all about we we uh, we kind of jumped off the cliff and tried making something out of it so that's the history wall he's talking about in his office uh as to so you 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 uh, you know you actually kept this uh, as memory so every day when you walk in you know where you began from right yeah absolutely yeah. so you can see the first office puja at the base bay you can see my early partners in there our first article that was published about us that was the first event it was a it was a uh, it was a party at the pub in bandra for a movie promotion called i am which was the first movie on lgbtq community nice this was our first uh, offsite i think uh, way back uh, first ever offsite first bunch of people who worked with us you can see how house county i look in the front on the hoodies uh, alive we had to actually find you <laughs> <laughs> on, the, on, the, on the checkered hoodie up front <laughs> got that got that <laughs> in fact in fact you would wait, also wait. see uh, valay who is my partner who is also part of uh, ascent trust group another trust group nice this was this was the session that we used to do call uh, popcorn with pratik uh, this was the early 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 uh, early sessions or early town hall that you can see only handful of people so i could actually engage with everyone at that point of time on a person to person basis uh, 
now we have more more than 150 160 people so across three different regions so now the processes have taken precedence very nice and a nice fancy looking office too yes <laughs> this is the lobby that's nice amazing yeah so we were lucky we are lucky to be at the right I place mean, at the right i said yeah i i guess what you said is right you know destiny tends to play a role but it's just not luck right it's just also a plan that you put through you keep chasing it and of course at the end of the day an element of destiny and luck always plays in that's amazing yeah too good so what one of my earlier manager always used to say ajit that there is a process of putting an elephant inside a refrigerator and pro- process is paramount to making your ideas into reality so we we i am i am i am one person who is strictly here for process very nice. amazing too good but what kind of significant changes have you bought in this business and this domain that you all have uh, you know uh, got into and you know it's it's a very challenging business every day is a new day every day is a new project what kind of changes do you have you bought about what kind of uh, revolutions does your business why do clients choose to work with you okay so when we started off we 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 decided that our mode would be to uh, not only to create experiences we though we are so how do we define our businesses that we are in a business of creating remarkable experience uh, and remarkable experience needs to be made in the in front of a right people so first our first offering was that we would not only create the experience but we will also get you the right kind of people who would be your, who would purchase your services uh, then later on we kept on hearing one word okay uh, and i think every entrepreneur goes through it yaar tumhara product to acha hai lekin mehanga hai and then from there on we kind of shifted since we were in a business of uh, experiences events omni channel marketing at the point of time we said what is your budget we would always ask that question which what is your budget a lot of client would not give us the budget but the moment we will give our uh, estimate they would say you are expensive so then we would ask the question how much expensive we are and they would say by 30% 40% whatever and then we went back to them and we said what if we get sponsors for your event or sponsors for your campaign who will pay half your monies and everybody is happy because you are going the lot more larger the price is not more higher but you are only paying 50% of it so we started doing third party sponsorship which nobody was doing at that point of time i think nobody even still now does does that anymore then we moved into <laughs> managing the loyalties in a b2b segment entire uh, uh, gamification bringing in gamification in the loyalty programs at early days in fact way back in 2011 uh, we did our first webinar and india didn't had the connectivity it was before the times of geo and broadband connectivity and smartphones so we did it at that point of time for cool around 1000 people we also did india's largest silent theater conference uh, way back in 2012 at nesco for close to around 10000 people who were actually listening to a silent theater conference on their heads uh, radio frequency headsets uh, very recently we have done india's la- uh, world's largest hackathon for ethereum wow but pratik your industry is uh, primarily an you know uh, omni channel marketing right Mm-hmm. and uh, and i know one big challenge that we spoke about and i think that should be brought up pre covid your 105 crore company all right which was very large and everything overnight dropped to a 15 crore 16 crore company and i can imagine the nightmare okay for any of us who are in business when something just happens overnight like that people cash flows customers <coughs> everything goes wrong tell us man how did you handle that so two three things happened providence right two three things happened ascent happened and ascent is one thing that i would credit a lot of my success and my organization success to uh, there is this beauty that you are put into a trust group right and those people become your support system your sounding board your extended uh, board of directors uh, your 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 uh, your go to people in a lot of places so while my organization was dipping down i had a huge support over there and what not only me but my my co-founders who are also part of different trust group in the asset right uh, so there were few things that we said we will be doing we said this is the time when we need to look at our values 
because these are the times when your values walk the corridors of the office those are not the start smart statement that you put on a plaque and put on the lobby for people to see and our values were heart which was honesty uh, excellence accountability respect and trust and we said we will be very honest to our people we will go back and tell them that, hey this is the situation a company which was growing 47% year on year uh, we were a kind of industry outlier suddenly seeing a downturn uh, so we will be running on a losses till the time this covid is there and we need to evolve so we worked at first 25% salaries 50% salaries but every time we would directly go to people face our people tell them the truth tell them if something goes right what we will be doing next and we will how we will be bringing back the salaries how we will be bringing back the process and our focus was digital at that point of time so the the if you look at the dark cloud then yes we were incurring immense losses 7 crore loss in first year 5 crore loss in second year but the silver lining was my digital business which was only 5% of my balance sheet suddenly became 60 70% of my balance sheet and that gave us an opportunity to evolve evolve into a omni channel market here where we were offering b2b digital b2b pr uh, loyalty programs so and, and it also made another important discovery that we had by providence was suddenly the world became a global village in my earlier opportunities at the most i was working at a apac label at the most i would go to a mba label and work in dubai work in australia but now it was a time because we our services were cheaper i could actually go and sell to anybody in us in canada in in latin america and we actually started working with more global clients so our number of clients or the number of logos that we were working with us actually increased in those two years and since you bought about the ascent tell us about your ascent journey i mean we'd love to know more okay so ascent journey started in 2012 i think uh, 26th of uh, uh, january republic day we were put into early days of ascent we were put into this place called the club harsh bhai spoke to all of us spoke about his expression what he needs to do his personal social responsibility of growth ready entrepreneurs and bringing the and we were put into a table where i had close to around 10 12 people and said you guys are the trust group and we named we called our trust group inspire and even though from the early days how our trust group was formed at that point of time only three members are left a uh, lot of people take hiatus moved out business changed but the new members who came actually bring in those ethos right and uh, so i have learned so much of from my trust group members first uh in terms of how they have evolved the business for example even in those two years of covid there there is somebody who is uh, who's providing services to the medical companies of uh, making polymer there is somebody who is making masks and sanitizers and this business was growing so in my gloomy days those were the people that would give me inspirations at the same time ascent has provide so much of tools so much of this thing ascent conclave for that matter right i have nowhere seen a close to around 700 800, 800 entrepreneurs sitting in a room networking talk taking in a content which is not available well where all you have heard all the sharks sitting together and discussing stuff where you have heard the fireside chat happening where have you heard somebody like uh, mr navin jindal or mr bajaj talking the fabulous exercises and tools like lifeline exercise uh, lifeline exercise has been absolutely mind boggling yeah he went on he, he became an asan member experienced all these things went back and changed this company's constitution ki if you are a founder of this company you have to be a member of asan as simple only asan member so so how did you actually convince all your other founders you guys are four of them and all of them are members of asan right so so uh, so if you ask somebody to do and you dictate terms nobody will do it right and for the all that matter they are my co-founders who founded the company along with me but what i they started seeing the change in me uh, biggest change that they saw in me was uh, i the biggest biggest uh, biggest success of any entrepreneur is how he or she takes feedback right if you are able to take the feedback and you don't become your defensive lawyer right the moment somebody tells you you start becoming defensive you become a lawyer at the same time you are best judge for other people so one of the first thing that i learned from my ascent journey was how to take feedback and when they saw this kind of changes and other changes possibly happening inside they kept on asking me what is this ascent what is this ascent all about 
and then i had my own definition of uh, asset i think all of us have very different definition of asset and that's the beauty of asset right so then they applied at different times and they got selected at different times to different trust group and uh, i am pretty much sure they are they would be having equally a uh, fabulous journey with their trust group but we don't discuss what happens inside the trust group right but at the same time we have matured as a, as a board within the organization great great fabulous and to take time out and tell us about your family tell us about you know about your personal life your hobbies and things like that okay so uh, i am a half rajput my dad is a rajput whose roots come from jaipur but he was born and brought up in bihar my mom's roots come from bangladesh actually she is a bengali uh, her family migrated uh, at the time of partition to calcutta uh, so i am half bengali half rajput married to a gujarati my wife is born and brought up in mumbai uh, and uh, i my have two brothers one is based out of my hometown one is based out of bangalore both of them are entrepreneurs today uh, and uh, i have twin sons 9 years uh, adi and arya so they they keep my inner child alive i used to have two doggy daughters uh, angel and mischief angel in fact i lost exactly as on date last year oh sorry like today is the day when i lost her last year i know that pain <laughs> yeah. i am a voracious reader you if i don't have anything to read i will pick up a old newspaper and start reading i read four books at a time uh and i love to work for stray animals uh, that is what uh, helps me in terms of uh, that is the most fulfilling part of my life uh, apart from that i am a yoga practitioner so i practice yoga and meditation amazing too good man that's uh that's a fantastic story so pratik when the book of the story of the rajput who started his life from dharavi comes out reach out to anim he's damn good at get giving names for these autobiographies okay he's done <laughs> he, does, he does a good job out of it so reach out to him he's also given harsh's books name so reach out to him that man comes out with great names for the books now i charge <laughs> <laughs> awesome. anim is the first anim is the first person who has seen the beauty in me <laughs> पैसा नहीं मिलेगा गारंटी अलीब यू आर माई गो टू मैन कम्युनिटी बुक कॉल स्टार्ट स्मॉल टाउन अर्बन ड्रीम दैट्स दैट्स अबाउट about journey of people like me who comes from a very uh, unorthodox so cool. city so cool so cool i love it the idea That's is that amazing. it may it may inspire people from tier 2 tier 3 cities to kind of take the journey absolutely right so good pratik yeah. amazing so pratik we are just uh, about a minute away from our 30 minute timeline but it's been fascinating to hear you uh, it's it's very interesting the last 30 minutes has been super listening to you your story Thank you so much for taking time out for being with us today. Thank you so much, uh, Ali. Thank you so much, Ajit. See you Thank soon. Thank you so much. Yeah. Awesome, guys. So that was the fifteenth episode. So now, if you are an entrepreneur who loves these stories, share these stories. Subscribe to the channels that you watch us on. We are available on podcasts. You'll find us on every podcast on YouTube, on LinkedIn, on FB, on Insta. You'll always find us. subscribe to that but if you want to be part of our cohort get to asan foundation dot in make an application the asan team will get in touch with you they will evaluate your business they will they will make sure you stand up to all the requirements that asan wants please remember this is a not for profit and it's not like a membership fee that you pay and you can buy that membership but if you go through that whole journey of getting shortlisted we will have we'll be happy to have you as a member so Thank you very much for joining us today and we will see you next Friday at 11 a.m. with another interesting story but before that just for members from Mumbai please remember there's a very interesting uh, event that is a members event which is coming up on 16th Feb at 6 p.m. at Geo Convention so if you have heard about crypto and is wondering what the hell is digital rupee come over to listen to Samir Shetty he's going to talk about it and what covid does you know what the impact of china is there's a there's another speaker mr manoj kevalramani 
Uh, you should join us on the 16th by 6 p.m. at Geo Convention. It's a members-driven program. Come over. You will enjoy this great net platform for knowledge and networking. So thank you very much. Thanks, Salim. And we're going to meet you. you guys back again next week, Friday at 11 a.m. with another interesting story. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye.